So it turns out we can't film one of these podcasts without talking about Slow Bridge. Uh, ever, ever, ever. It's not possible. It, it, it happens every single time. But this one, this one's, this one's good. This one is. I feel like I was, uh, you know, talking to you about this before we got on. I feel like this is the first time we've had this specific instance. We've had snowboarder on snowboarder. We've had skier on snowboarder. We've had skier on skier. We've had old man on kid. And I don't kid think, on old man. Yeah, and I don't think we've ever actually had a snowboarder on skier regimen. Right. Which is what but, this but, is. but this is good. The, yeah. the, the caption was the best. Skier beaten unconscious with ski pole by snowboarder in Austria. Yeah. He literally took the guy's pole and fucking beat him with it. Mm -hmm. This is... Actually, I think... I think he took one of the other person's poles and then beat the guy with it. Yeah. So, the... the yeah, he did. He, the, he yeah, grabbed the a ski girl. British skier was with a group of people, and the snowboarder took a pole from one of his friends and then beat him with it. Yeah, they, so... <laughs> <laughs> After the snowboard, see, it started with this. So, a UK terrorist suffered severe severe injuries. So this dude got fucking walloped. Yeah. Uh, in the attack, which allegedly began after the snowboarder nearly caused a collision with the victim's ski group at Zillertal Arena in Rohrberg, Austria. The victim had words with the snowboarder about the near collision, which sparked the violent outburst. The snowboarder reportedly grabbed a ski pole from a member of the ski group and bashed the British man over the head several times until he collapsed. The British man was not wearing a helmet and suffered severe injuries requiring a helicopter ride to the hospital in Schwaz, about 15 miles away. The snowboarder fled the scene after he dropped the skier. Police are asking any witnesses to come forward to help identify him. Fuck that. He's gone. Yeah, he gone. He gone. I mean, I don't know the logistics of it, but did, like how this happened, but it's just funny to think that he took someone's pole and beat the man with it. Also, like, I would love to know what the exact situation was because he had to be close enough to a member of the other guy's party in order to grab the pole. But then how did he beat him enough to knock him out with a ski pole? Which, like, yeah, you can get those things moving really fast because they're light, but they're not heavy, so you're not really hitting with that much force. See, you're so where was the other guy to tackle the snowboarder yeah. to be like, hey, don't beat my friend up? No, I think you think he's hitting it with the basket end. I think he grabbed it and hit him with the handle. End. No, I agree with you, but I still like. No, I mean they're you're they're still not that heavy. Even if you it's gotta a hit him a few times, if it's a it metal cause. pole, that would be the heaviest. Yeah, unless they had like something that was made out of wood, maybe. But at that point, like it, it have to be a leaky pole. It would have to be because the handles are so dense. Yeah, and that's the thing. And I mean, you must. Jeez. He had to be hammering Man. like really hard. Like, just reefing this thing to another level. And one more reason to wear a helmet. I guess. Just saying. I don't know. I, I wear a helmet mainly so if I have to take it off, I can swing it at someone. Sure. <laughs> it becomes just a little plastic ball. Of just bah! Yeah, for sure. For you sure. Know. Uh, but, yeah, like, I mean, I feel bad for the guy. Nobody should have to go to the hospital from getting no. people, but... <laughs> I just wonder what was going on with the rest of, like, where were his friends at that this managed to happen? Like maybe I'm he saying, was the like, youngest one out of a group, and they were all, like, geriatric maybe, and scared. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe like, when terrified. he took the pole from the guy's hand, he fell over and broke his hip. I don't know. You know, it did, maybe he just, like, couldn't get out of his, like, yeah, maybe he pushed him over, and he was, like, 65 and couldn't get up and couldn't get out of his skis to get up, and his friends were too far downhill or something like well, that. Well, no, the guy that got beaten was 55. Right. Well, I'm so, saying, like, oh. he pushed pushed over the guy he took the pole from. Yeah. And that maybe. guy was older and couldn't get out of the skis and get it, up. Or this, like, this just poses questions. Agreed. Just more questions yeah. than the answers. A little more details. But, but going along with that, if you follow Snowboarding is Dead on Instagram, there's been some great videos on there of, from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, it's New Jersey. Mountain Naturally. Creek and, of course... Uh, Snow, big snow, American dream, the new snow dome. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a fucking brawl, like a oh, brawl. Did, you didn't get to see the video, did you? No. Yeah, I uh, got pulled for <clears throat> violating community standards and guidelines. But I mean, it looked like at one point it was like seven or eight people just brawling in the front of American Dream right nice. there, like 
I mean, you're just, you had people, and it looked like everyone was with rental equipment, too. Lovely. But the brawl at Mountain Creek, I mean, it was probably like, there was probably like 30 people, and probably 12 to 15 at one point were fighting. <laughs> and, and of course, some asshole in Nike boots with the Nike goggles. and Shocking. Oh, uh, yeah. Fucking, it was just... Uh, <laughs> Out of any place, I always expect it to be Mountain Creek where this happens, or at least New Jersey. I'm like, they think they're New Yorkers. They're not. They're not New Yorkers. So they have that attitude of the East Coast. They're in their own, they're like an own breed of people over there. And it's it was funny because I put it on the inst, on the Graham story for us, for the Angry Snowboarder account. And one of my friends hit me up and he's like, only time I've ever had brass knuckles pulled on me was at a demo at Mountain Creek. <laughs> I was like, whoa! <laughs> Who brings brass knuckles to a freaking ski resort? That's what I want to know. Well, I don't know. That's also the... Mountain Creek is also the resort where my friend was chased by a rodent of unusual size. All right. As the story goes, I, I cannot validate this claim, and as the years have gone by, I feel like the rat has gotten bigger. <laughs> well, that's how it works. But he... It was springtime, night riding, and this little black critter... Started off being little. I think by the time we were done, it was about the size of a Doberman. Mm -hmm. um, the last time I heard this story from him. But it came out of the woods and chased him. And it may have been foaming at the mouth. Let's hope so. I was like, oh, man, this gets better in every time. But he's like, you have to outrun the rodents of unusual size. <laughs> we were on this very big, like, princess bride kick at that point in our sure. life. Sure, sure, And he's like, yeah, it was like, it was like this big. And I was like, no, no rat was that big. And he's like, it made the New York City sewer rat that ate the piece of pizza look small. The one that was, like, dragging the pizza down the stairs. And I was like, well, New York City rats are not small to begin with. But I was like... You sure this thing like didn't have mutagen poured on it or something? Maybe. Maybe was it Master Splinter chasing you and he'd gone rabid? I don't know. But he said he said that it was about the size of a fat porcupine at one point. Then it I could sounds see. like a marmot. It might have been. I don't know. It's like you sure it wasn't like a porcupine that had mange and all its quills fell out or something. Oh yeah. Or maybe it was a fox that had mange, or it was a coyote with mange. Yeah. And you thought it was a rat, but yeah, the rodents of unusual size just like chasing him around. He said it chased him for like a good forty feet, which, I mean, we live in a state where it's not uncommon for moose to run through the resort or sure. or coyotes. So maybe you know this is just their version of that. I don't know. Uh, I mean, when I lived in New York, I, I got to see the aftermath of a snowcat run over a porcupine mm. uh, in broad daylight. I was like, how did you not see that? How drunk were you? Because yeah. I'm, I'm always convinced that people that are grooming, they're drunk when they're driving. And they're like, ah, I can just drink and drive. I just got to go straight. And that's why you end up with the weird overlapped corduroy. Maybe. Or like they'll drop the, the blade and suddenly there's just a cliff drop in the middle of the run. Keystone used to do that for a while. On the top of school, Marm, when you used to have to cut across to get to the park, yeah. it was that one deep roller. And on the right side, like the one day, I knew the guy that did it. He's like, I had a few. And um, he, he he was trying to make a lip so that it would be a shelf jump so that we could jump it, mm. like side hit. But it was more like um, a loading dock park jump by the time he got done. Gotcha. And it was about a three and a half to four foot drop on the beginner run and he got in trouble because people would just hit it and fall and explode. Yeah. Well, you know, probably people like Jonathan Buckhouse and then, yeah. you know, they could yell at mountain safety or right, whatever, right. you know, totally, totally. Cause that's, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, every podcast, I swear to God, every Everyone. Po every podcast, you every know, time. you know what, you know what, you know what, you know the beauty of coronavirus and them closing resorts, this might actually curb the fighting. We may be able to do the next podcast without a story of a, well, I think the, the, the next podcast is going to be the 2021 product preview. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Special. Although, yeah. Yeah. No, that, that would probably be the next. Yeah, I think that's going to be the next one. Then we'll have a regular podcast right after that, too. Because right. that's a special. We don't count yeah, it yeah, yeah. in the rotation of things. But, yeah. Uh, if you're from New Jersey, please leave us comments about different interactions and stuff. And uh, have you encountered a rodent of unusual size? Yes. Actually, could, if you can confirm these rodents of unusual size, because uh, this is the same guy that, like, I'm pretty sure he banged one of my friends while I was sleeping on the couch, and I saw it because I did take photos of it, mm. which is a whole different thing. They were blurry, and you couldn't see anything, but he denies to this day that they hooked up, but they, I was like, dude, you, you, one, you were on acid or mushrooms. I think it was on mushrooms. And two, 
you guys were doing stuff, and I looked over, and she was riding you like a goddamn pony. Well, there you go. And he's like, well, it never happened. And I was like, I was sober. I saw that with my own two <laughs> eyes. But, yeah, yeah. These, these are the things that happen in my life. Yep. Thank mm -hmm. you.